just as there are joint cumulative distribution functions for two random variables at a time, that is bivariate distributions, there are also cumulative distribution functions for n random variables at a time and those are known also as joint cumulative distribution functions. In both the discrete and the continuous case, the joint cumulative distribution function is denoted by capital F of x1 up to xn and it is the probability x1 is less than or equal to x1, x2 is less than or equal to little x2 up to xn is less than or equal to x sub n. The commas here on this probability statement are as usual read as and. In the case of discrete random variables, f of x1, x2 up to xn is an n-fold summation with limits as you would expect on the summations of the joint probability mass function of the random variables f of w1, w2 up to wn. For continuous random variables these summations are replaced by integrals and the integr integration limits run from negative infinity up to x1, negative infinity up to x2 of the joint probability density function dwn, dw2, dw1. So there it is for continuous random variables. Additionally, when x1, x2 up to xn are continuous, if you have the joint cumulative distribution function and you want to go to the joint probability density function, you take n partial derivatives with respect to x1, x2 up to xn. In the discrete case, there is not an analogous formula. In that case, the um, joint probability mass function will be found by differencing.